Hey guys, my name is Hunter McIntyre. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Malibu, California. I am currently the world record holder in a sport called High Rocks. Um, seven time world champion, five time national record holder, and national champion. I kind of spring between endurance sports, CrossFit, uh, powerlifting, wrestling, whatever I can get my hands on. I'm kind of an addict of it all. We are going to go do a full body Tabata circuit. This one's kind of more like a bodybuilding strength endurance kind of version. And it's just full body. The whole idea is just to hit every muscle group, keep the body moving. It's simple. You can do this with almost anything. I picked a rock because I'm at the beach, but if you have a barbell, dumbbell, rock, a uh, backpack full of rocks, whatever you want to do, it's pretty simple, but get the work done. It's worth it. Tabata intervals are eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four minutes of work total, maximal effort, start to finish. So we're gonna do a full body circuit. We're gonna start out with a deadlift just to warm up properly. Then we're gonna go into bicep curls because everybody loves biceps. Then we're gonna go hit some triceps because everybody loves triceps too. A little bit of shoulder press, some uh, squats, some lunges, and then a little bit of chest press just to work those pecs, baby. And then we're gonna finish off and we're gonna do a full body clean and jerk and kind of really push the pace at the end. We're gonna listen to one of my favorite songs, Sweet Child of Mine, off of Spotify, the Tabata song. So we're gonna hit this, a little bit of mixture of high intensity, a little bit of bodybuilding, have a good time with it, get a good pump. Let's do it, baby. Welcome to Tabata. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. So I grew up around here and when I first started doing fitness, I did not have the money for a gym membership. I did not have the money for equipment at home. So I would go down here by my grandparents' house and I'd pick a rock. A rock that's about the size of a basketball all the way to a softball, depending on what your movement's gonna be. I always like to do full body movements. Three, two, one, stop. You obviously got 20 seconds and we're gonna try to get as much work done as possible. Five, four, three, two, one, go. A Tabata interval is eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, created by a guy named Dr. Tabata. And Dr. Tabata found out this basic formula where 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off with these eight rounds is the number one way to develop your anaerobic potential and aerobic potential. And now the two of these things are on opposite sides of the spectrum. What better way to train by developing both at the same time at equal levels? Five, four, three, two, one. I thought about that and I was like, I wanna be a superstar. I was like, why not train both at the same time? And it does seem very small. Like if you think about that, that's four minutes worth of work. You're like, oh, that's gonna be easy. Well, the reality is, is anything could be easy. You know, walking 100 feet could be easy or sprinting 100 feet could be tremendously hard. So it's all about truly putting everything in your body into that interval and then that's where the magic happens. So Dr. Dabata found this and people like myself apply it every single day around the world as one of the best intervals ever created. A couple years ago I made myself go to the CrossFit Games. A couple years before that I was the best Spartan racer in the world. And all of those things are somewhat aligned with each other but I make sure to separate all exterior distractions and I focus entirely on one thing until I achieve it. Halfway there. Three, two, one, go. What my goal is currently is to set the world record for the fastest marathon ever run over 200 pounds. Even though I'm training for a marathon and I'm doing tremendous amounts of long distance running, I do love to work all six gears in my, in my engine. So, Working that first gear, which is your power and your pop, is really, really important. You can't always forget about it. And that's why I've been able to kind of go in all different directions of sport and still be able to do almost any of the old skills that I developed at 90% capacity. So remember, whether or not you're training for a marathon or an Olympic lifting event, you should continue to keep variety in your training. And I myself even use something like Tabata often, even weekly, to keep my horsepower very strong during this marathon training so that I do not lose that variety and that capability of being an all-around athlete. Round seven. Three, two, one, go. Ugh, these are the hardest ones. Three, two, one, stop. Oh my god. Round eight. 
Last Almost one. looking forward to the plane jerks. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh man, I'm crushed. Those chest press ones, you would never think when we had to do them in wrestling practice. It's lightweight, but pumps you up so much. You can see I'm sweating. Uh, it's simple, it was four minutes. If you want to, you can repeat it again, maybe change up the movements a little bit. But I think that's an awesome way just to get a good workout in. If you want to mix it up, get something quick in. It's simple, easy. You can make it hard as you want it to be, but totally worth it. That's why I love Tabatas.